Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. As you know, past couple days I've been working on this cartridge vision, trying to tie up some of the loose ends on this thing. Uh, anyways, uh, do have a nagging little problem, but I think I might have solved it. Um, I do get this thing to go into play position uh, on the, you know, when you turn the knob, but it doesn't work on the knob. I actually have to move this actuator right here and also it engages and goes into the loading position. Well, this unit has a big problem because when you turn the front knob on it, which is right here, when you turn it, it should go in a loading position. It takes you up this way and this way around the drum. Uh, of course, I, like I told you guys, these things are rusted solid. This is the junk machine that I'm taking awful lot of parts off of. This thing has been sitting for a very long time. This thing... This is common for all the cartridge vision machines that I'm working on, which are all garbage, except for the one that I rebuilt for the past two and a half years. All right. Here's another common problem. I'm pretty sure I've got this licked, got this figured out. Of course, you already know I did all the plugs to this unit. And um, here's my unit all together. And of course, I've got all the new plugs put in place. And uh, But inside... You have what's called a it's a it's a a photo sensor. It senses it turns on and off with light, which would sense sense the system wanting to when you turn your knob, it should want to load. I've got a funny feeling we got a bad photo sensor right here. It's like a switch. If there's no light, or if there is light, um, you know, like I said, when there's no light, it goes off, I believe, or on, and when there's light, it shuts off. Well. Anyways, it's like a switch. It's a photo sensor. It protrudes through the center of the cassette. I was doing some testing with the cassette I had in here, covering up this sensor, and, you know, it wasn't doing anything. And plus, it was going beyond the clear leader, which indicates that that sensor ain't any good because it should stop as soon as it sees that little silver tab, and it doesn't, which would probably be the indicator of the problem why it isn't going in the load position because the sensor is not telling you there's a cassette in the cartridge or in the unit itself. But anyways, we've been tying up some things, especially the wire, wiring connectors on this thing, which is a complete freaking nightmare, but we got it done. We're real close to having this done, so I'm analyzing so many issues. Of course, I've got a couple junk machines laying around like this thing, biggest piece of crap ever. It's been sitting for ages, like... In the desert, practically. <laughs> so bad. But anyways. Okay, you got a very, very donor machine, as you would call it, in bad, bad, bad shape. And I'm going to strip the rest of the stuff off of this machine probably tonight so I can get rid of it. But, if you open up the door, if you can, anyways. That sensor goes right here and it protrudes out about this far, about an inch into the cassette. Okay? So, I did pull the sensor out of this one. And as you can see, I don't know how close you can see it, but you see all those little lines? That's the little light sensor that turns on and off. This one looks relatively like new. I took it out. I checked it with a meter. And it does drop in resistance value when you cover up the light sensitivity. And then when you uncover it, the, the, the sensitivity jumps in different directions. So I did take this one out. And I'm going to swap it out and put it in my new one. It, it, my one that I have in there now looks like like the little censoring lines are all, uh, maybe the material is starting to flick away and it just isn't working right. I just got a funny feeling we've got a bad sensor in there. This one here I think works. So we're going to swap that out, this photo sensor, and maybe we can get it to recognize the cassette in the compartment so it actually loads when you turn the knob. Um... There's a major issue there, and I think it's the sensor. It's my best guess. I don't think it's anything electronic-wise. I just think the sensor is not, it's not picking up that there's a tape in there because as I close, close it and I put my finger over it in both directions, it just doesn't do anything. It won't go in, in the loading position, meaning it's not sensing a tape in the, in the cassette, uh, and that would tell the system that, you know, it doesn't see a tape there, so when you turn, try to turn to load it and, or try to turn it on, it just isn't going to load the cassette. So I think we have a photo sensor switch problem, which is going to let it know there's a cassette there. So hopefully we'll get that swapped out and that might fix the issue. Hope you enjoyed this video.